What's up, guys? Welcome back to Robux Talk. Today, I want to look at the Buccaneers running game. It's something that has been a part of the Buccaneers for years, and slowly but surely, things are coming to fruition. You know, we're starting to slowly somehow get balanced, hopefully. Uh, Liam Cohen called a pretty good game. A lot of it was with motions, guys. Okay, so I want you to notice all these guys moving in motion across your screen and what it does to the defense and how it's helping out the, the running game. So as you saw, there was a guy running across your screen, right? You got a receiver going this way and a man running with them. So if addition of subtraction, there's one less guy over here. So it should be technically easier to run that way. That's the theory of it, right? But it's not only that, it's convincing guys. Every time we move a guy, the run is going to go that way. That's what you're letting the defense know. So their tendencies are like, okay, every time they do this, it's going to be run that way. Early on the game, they're setting things up, right? This is the good stuff you want to see. A big run here by Rashad White, not necessarily just the play call, but the execution behind it. So you have hiking the ball. Look at Tristan Wirfs clear this entire side out. 90 gets pushed into 98, and there's just a, a log jam right there. And then you got Graham Barton coming out in space to block. You got Bredesen blocking, Kate Otten blocking. Everyone's trying to find a man. I love the want to in this, especially coming off of the Denver game that looked abysmal in every facet of the game. Well, to check out Bredesen, check out Kate Otten, Graham Barton paving the way. Rashad White hasn't even, been, hasn't even been touched yet. He just has to beat one guy, right? Usually you want your running back to have that opportunity. Here he faces him, cuts it inside, gets upfield, gets through would-be arm tackles, keeps on going, looking for places to go, not just run out of bounds. I love this run by Rashad White. A lot of guys are writing him off just because of Bucky Irvin's early success, which is very warranted, but Rashad White is not a bad running back. He can do a little bit of everything. He showed he could catch the ball in this game as well. But more on the running game again and the play call of it. So last play you saw, there's a guy going from on your screen, right to left. This time, there's a guy going from left to right. Motion again. So if that's happening, where is this ball going to go, right? It's going to go to where that guy left because someone was running with him, right? So if you think about it, here we go again. Let's let this play run. Motion, you get these guys shifting. So clearly there wasn't a true man on him. They're in a, sl a sliding zone, right? So we're sliding over. Baker sees that. Rashad White sees that. Okay, they shifted over. I have more space to run that way. We run it. Here we go again. This is just zone blocking. Everyone get an area of where, where you're going to block. It's not necessarily moving pieces. This is just, okay, we're here. Let's block here. Block what's in front of me. Rashad White's reading the block set up. This guy's coming into the hole. There's no one on the outside. Godwin doing a phenomenal job uh, blocking the outside corner there. And Rashad White bounces this quickly because there's no one in the middle of the hole. The outside's going to be open. I just have one guy to beat. Again, Kate Otten. Look at that. Is that Kate or is that Payne? Oh, that's Payne Durham. Maintaining that block there. If he gets off that, he can get him in the backfield. Rashad White breaks it. Gets the outside. Stiff arms continuously going upfield, holding on to the ball. Great run. Pointed out. What is it? First down, Rashad White. Okay, so like I mentioned, when there's a motion going to one way, they usually run to the opposite way, right? This one. Total opposite. They set it. They set things up this way. Kate Otten's going to come this way, and Bucky Irving's going to run right behind him. But also check out the amazing block that Kate Otten gets on number three here. Literally just destroys him on this play. So check it out. Again, the defense is thinking every time there's motion one way, they go the other. They have to wait and think. They can't slide over one way because the last time they did it, they got beat on it. So again, deception, moving your pieces around to deceive the defense to let them not know what your next play is, right? It's all chess pieces, moving things around. So Kate Otten's coming around. Like I said, watch number three here. Explosion. <sighs> Thrown out of the play. Bucky's slowly reading this. Okay, the linebacker's coming down. Payne Durham's trying to get down. Oh, no, the schoolie is going to take out 53, getting to the second level. You're going to see Payne Durham kind of miss a block, and Chris Goblin's going to come into your, your screen here. They both kind of miss their guys. Their guys slip through. This guy slips through. Watch Bucky Irving stay balanced here. Get through a high tackle and a low tackle, stay balanced, stay on his feet, and pick up even more yards. That is why he's getting so much recognition. His balance, his shiftiness, his ability to view and see where the hole is going to be before it's there. And then look at that. Picking up yardage almost gets a touchdown. He ended up getting a touchdown later in the game, but we continue on. So the running game is vital, right? Again, we got this based off of passing quick early, right? Hopefully, Liam Cohen and company know we're going to have to pass to run because our D our offense isn't necessarily the best at 
the manpower or horses to run physically like a Baltimore Ravens team, right? So here we go, hiking the ball. Again, we're going to pull some guys here. You're going to see Kate Otten and Bredesen kind of come in motion to get the blocks in here. Kate Otten's been so much better since last year at blocking, especially run blocking. Check him out here, leveling guys. Bucky Irving's vision here to let these things set up, go right behind Kate Otten's butt here, bounce in the hole, see, seeing it, literally puts his foot in the ground and then cuts on a dime. Jump cut immediately ev evades N'Kobe Dean. And if Bredesen held that block a little bit longer, he's got nothing but space to run under with blocks ahead of him. I, I love it. He's only going to get better with repetition and this offensive line in unison. Hopefully Luke Gedeke comes back soon. But guys, let me know down below what you think of the Buccaneers running game. Is this a sight to things to come? Are we going to see something actually happen, pop off? We hope so, guys. Fingers crossed. Let's not be 32nd in the running game yet again for a third time in a row. But guys, let me know down below what you think. With that said, until the next one.